What's up everybody, my name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and tomorrow, October 25th, you're going to receive a very large update for Minecraft. Not file size, it'll be a pretty small download, but what I mean is it's very large in the amount of stuff that it's changing here, and in this video I'm going to show you a lot of the stuff changing. But first and foremost, the thing they're calling this update is the update that changed the world. And what they mean by that is it changed the way that biomes are formed. It changed the way that everything is formed in the game. They spent a lot of time trying to make sure that all the biomes kind of filled in around themselves properly. That way you don't end up with a snowy biome right next to a desert biome. And they've changed a lot of things in the games. And I'm going to show you a few of those here, so stick with me. Starting with the options menu, you'll notice that they changed how it's kind of laid out there. And one of the biggest updates is how they changed music and sound in the game. Everything is adjustable now individually, so it's not just one or the other. They added a bunch of things in the video settings. You can set the max frame rate. You can set, set the max render distance. There's a lot of individual th stuff they added here to make it better for you to run here. And now they made it so you can run more than one resource pack, or texture pack if you call it, at the same time. So you can actually load up more than one. So that is pretty cool what they added with that. In the Create New World section, you're going to see some new biomes called Large Biomes and a brand new one that's going to be called amplified it's just for higher end computers i guess because it uses a lot of resources but it's pretty cool what it does and i'll show you it allows the world to generate much taller and higher biomes so you can get these structures that stretch all the way up into the sky and above the clouds and even higher so you get some really amazing setups in different worlds like this they also added three different kinds of new blocks that you can find there. The first one called Podzol. It can only be found in the Mega Tega and the Tega areas. It's basically just a different kind of dirt that you find there. Now, if you don't have an item that has Silk Touch on it, when you break it, it's only going to give you regular dirt. But other than that, it's basically just a dirt block. It works the same way. There's nothing special about it. The next block is called Packed Ice Blocks. You can see in here it's basically just a perfect square of ice. And it's found in the Ice Plain Spiked Biome, which is a very cool biome there. Now this is another one of those that if you hit it without um, Silk Touch on there, it's basically just going to break it. But unlike regular ice, when you break this one, it doesn't turn into water. And the last of the three new blocks is called Red Sand, which you can find in the Mesa Biome, another new biome they put into the game here. Once again, another block that if you don't have Silk Touch, it just breaks it apart there. It's basically just a kind of sand, except for it looks way cool. They changed up the way maps generate in the game now, too. So when you use it now, it generates it pretty quick. There's a lot less lag used in it, and the maps have way more colors, so you can see all the different kinds of biomes that are there. So they're really pretty maps um, compared to the way they used to be there. Now, something else they added with it there is if you take one of these item frames and put it up on the wall, you can actually right-click and throw your map in it. It'll put it on there like that so you can see it. It'll be static the way it was when you had it, but it's still one of those that's kind of cool that you can decorate your walls with maps now. After two years, they finally changed up portals there. They no longer have to be confined to this one specific size. So if you want to go obscene and make a giant one like this that'll fill up your whole wall, poof, now you can. Now there is one thing about it is that you can't only do one block wide, and I'll show you exactly why. It just doesn't seem to work. If you have just one block here set up like this and you set it on fire, all it does is it stays on fire. So it has to be at least two blocks wide, but that's about the only constraints. They also overhauled the fishing system there. So now, fishing poles can actually be enchanted. Now, I don't know for sure yet on what they can be enchanted with. I haven't had a chance to test that. But one of the coolest things I think they added that's so small is that when a fish is actually approaching the bobber floating in the water, you can see air bubbles moving through the water. And you'll see it here in just a second. And it actually lets you know when a fish, just like that, is getting ready to bite the line. So it kind of takes away from some of that waiting game. And with that, they've also added to the number of fish that you can actually catch, too. So it's no longer just the regular old plain Jane fish there. If you're lucky, you can catch something like a raw red salmon. Or they have some other fish, too. So now you have the option of catching a regular fish, a salmon, clownfish, or even a puffer fish, which are used in doing enchantments there. And on rare occasions, you have a chance of catching an actual treasure chest underwater. Haven't done that myself yet, so I don't know what they look like, but I look forward to it. And one of the last new items they added is stained glass and stained glass windows and blocks and whatnot. So you can make all kinds of different colors. It's pretty easy. So what I have to do is just find a different kind of flower so you can make a dye. I'm going to take this one here. It gives me a light blue dye. Then you take your glass, put it in the shape of a frame like you would with any kind of frame, put the dye in the middle, and it gives you light blue stained glass. You can stack that up by itself if you want to. 
Um, so you can use it just as regular glass blocks or you can make frames like you would with regular frames and now you have light blue stained glass panes. So you can use it for decorative windows. Now these you can actually see through and light will actually pass through. So it's really cool, just kind of something neat added to the game. Nothing major of course, um, well it is to some people, this is a huge improvement there and I think it's pretty cool too, so I hope you guys do too. And lastly, I wanted to hit up on the biome generation a little bit more. This is kind of an example overview of how biomes used to be generated, how the world map used to be generated beforehand. You see, it's kind of sparse. Everybody's seen the massive, giant, overly sized oceans they have there. It kind of has a little bit more of a continent shape to it. But with the new amplified mode, boom, you got this massive, massive map shading going on here. And you can see there's not a whole lot more ocean in there. With this amplified there, it takes out a lot of the water. You get more like ponds and lakes and stuff and less wide open ocean and a lot more mixture of the biomes. So of course, if your computer can handle it, then you have a chance to get some really dynamic worlds there with a whole lot less ocean. So on top of having the world generate differently now, they also changed up the biomes themselves. They, like I said in the beginning of the video, they tried to make them so that they didn't form next to biomes that didn't make sense. And there was a lot more variety in there. Like this is one of the new ones there. It's called a Mega Tega. Now, Tegas no longer have snow by default. This has got to be in one of the new classes of um, biomes there, which they have like cold, hot, dry, and wet. And each one of those different classifications will make each one of these like a Mega Tega. You may have a, a Tega Wet. Take a cold, take a dry, stuff like that, and you're going to see different things. But here are a few of the other biomes they added to the game. This one's called Deep Ocean. Now, it looks pretty awesome, of course, but if you get a puffer fish, if you happen to catch one like I showed you in the last video, you'll be able to craft some underwater breathing potions. It allows you to explore. So maybe in the future we can see some scuba diving and equipment we can really explore this, find a sunken treasure or something. This is one of the coolest new ones they put in there. It's called the Ice Plane Spikes. And you can see, look at these huge spires made out of these ice blocks. Now, this is where you get those shaped ice blocks I was showing you earlier in the video that you can't make. This is where they show up, and this is how you'll find them. And this one would be called the Mesa. It's kind of a different style desert setting. You can see it's got different rows of sand. Think of like the Grand Canyon if you're from the United States. You see the different layers like a erosion built off, different colors of sand in there. And this is where you can get the red sand blocks that I was showing you earlier too. So this is a really awesome new biome. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this update video for 1.7. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. As I said, there's a lot of things that I'm not covering in this that they added to this update. I was just covering some of the new stuff. Um, they overhauled the achievement and the statistics system there, so everything's different about that, the way that it works. They changed up a bunch of the multiplayer stuff, so now server admins can actually create a server image that'll show up when you're seeing it on there. And you can see how many people are playing in the server from the multiplayer menu there. Um, you know, all the changes with the resources packs, and they're trying to develop the system for better plugins. The chat and command system was changed, and lots of other technical stuff, and a whole bunch of bug fixes that I didn't actually mention, but I didn't want to let you guys know that this was all that was on there. So anyway, um, I'm going to end this here. And for everybody who's been following me, you know I said once 1.7 hits, I'm going to start a new Let's Play series, and I think what I might call it is Minecraft Amplified, and fire up one of these new massive biomes and see what we can do with that. So what do you think of that? I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. In the meantime, y'all have a good one, and I will talk to you later.